Let's have another example. Sketch the graph of y equals 3 sine 2 times x minus pi over 2 plus 2. This is a more of a general example. This features A, this is A, B, C, and D. So this is more of a general example for sine. Okay, so again, so to solve this, first we, we, we find the amplitude. The amplitude is again the absolute value of that number in front of sine. So that's absolute value of 3, which is 3. So that's our amplitude. The period is again 2 pi over absolute value of b. So in this case, this is our a, this is b, uh, this one right here is c, and this one is d. Okay? So therefore, that's 2 pi divided by absolute value of 2, and that's pi. So one period equals pi. So one interval will then be from zero to pi. Okay. And then we can then divide that interval into four equal parts. So that's going to be, so this is Um, so this right here is 0, this is pi, okay, and then we're going to figure out um, these, uh, these uh, points right here. We know this is pi over 2 because that's 1 half of pi, and then 1 half of pi over 2 is pi over 4, so that's pi over 4 right there, and then um, what's the average? of pi over 2 and pi so let's solve that pi over 2 plus pi pi is 2 pi over 2 that gives us 3 pi over 2 then we divide that by 2 that's gonna give us 3 pi over 4 so now we're done with our um, four equal parts okay so then we're gonna graph that now let's complete the entire uh, the entire number lines if we need to so let's do this first so now just to be clear now we are not yet sketching the graph of this function we are actually sketching the graph of y y equals 3 sine 2x Okay, so for now we are sketching the graph of 3 sine 2x and the reason for that is these parameters negative pi over 2 and positive 2 these parameters are translation parameters meaning they are just going to relocate the graph okay so these parameters will relocate the graph okay but the shape and whatever important characteristics of the graph is actually already here. So that's what we needed to graph first. And then we're just going to translate the graph uh, depending on the values of C and D. Okay, so let's sketch the graph of y equals 3 sine 2x. Again, let's start at 0 because that's where sine actually starts. Pi over 4 will correspond to the highest point. The highest point is 3. So that's going to be here. Okay. And then we're going back to this point, 0. And then the third point corresponds to the lowest point in the graph. And then go back here. And then we can connect the points. Okay, so we're gonna connect the dots. Okay, so that's one period of y equals 3 sine 2x. Again, um, so these points are just uh, 
going to translate, relocate the graph. So that means that point zero will relocate okay, to that's our C, right? C uh, is pi over 2. That means we're going to move pi over 2 units to the right. So therefore, this point right here goes here, okay? Make sure you can see that. So this point right here goes to this point. That's pi over 2 units to the right. But then this positive 2 means that from here, you're going to move 2 units up, okay? So ultimately, the point, this point goes here, okay? Gets translated there um, and then of course this point right here I'm gonna move pi over two units to the right and then two units up so that point moves here and then this point again pi over two units to the right and then two units up okay so that's what these two parameters do and then this one same thing move pi over two units two points up this one pi over two units and then two points up okay so our final location um, for the points are this one this 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 and well again just connect the dots so that's going to give us this graph okay this is the graph of y equals sine 2 x minus pi over 2 plus 2 okay so again to recap find the amplitude it's gonna give you the height of the wave find the period and then make a an interval from 0 to 1 period so that's 0 to pi Divide the interval into four equal parts, so that gives us this, um, these values. And then you plot those points right onto the graph. But then again, just to remind you, this graph in green just corresponds to the graph of 3 sine 2x, okay? these points or these values pi over 2 and positive 2 will just move the graph to a different location so pi over 2 means two units to the right and then positive 2 means two units up so that moves here this point moves there um, what else uh, this point moves here this point moves here and then this point moves there and then, and then just connect the dots again. So that will be the final graph of the function.